So welcome all of you, Nana here, and then we are into the next session on this uh, fusion procurement implementation. Now you are going to see uh, the costing transactions. So yesterday we have completed the costing setups now. So we are going to begin costing transactions actually. So let me go on and share my screen. <clears throat> so if you go there. If you open it up here, <clears throat> I go to Toledo, and then if I go there, uh, in this one, <coughs> uh, we will now go to Fusion Procurement Documentation. The procurement of Fusion Procurement Documentation. So here I go to uh, in the PTP concept, PTP concept. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to create a purchase order. I will not create a purchase order. And then once when the PO is created, there will not be any accounting at all. And then once when you make a gate result, the receiving inspection will be hit on the debtor side, and then the accrual will be hitting on the creditor side actually. So the first activity we are going to see. This is the receipt accounting. So once when you complete the receipt accounting, we'll now go to the cost accounting. Right? This is the cost accounting actually. So let us now first of all complete the receipt accounting, and then afterwards we'll now go to cost accounting actually. So before which uh, the accrual account, fine, the accrual account, AP liability account is clashing actually. So AP liability account is also 2210. So I will now make, make a change of the accrual first of all. Fine. I have made a mistake here. So this also is 2210. So I will now make a change of the accrual to 2220. Fine. Let me make a change on this. <clears throat> so go there. So let us now first of all make a change of the accrual account. Invoice <coughs> is accrual account organization that we are going to make a change. So go there, you go to set up and maintenance, and then we are going to change our accrual account. It should not be same as a liability account actually. Now so go there, drop it on, and then choose the manufacturing and supply chain management. Go there, it's manage mapping search, manage percentage, map percentage, set percentage, and entry now. So manage mapping search is the one. Anytime, whenever you are having it out, please open up your mic and then speak so that I will understand your question actually. So I go to the cost management, I click on it, manage mapping it, and then I will now change the accrual account organization to 2220 because we have set it up at 2210. Uh, we will now change it so that it will be clearly reflecting on this. When accrual account organization is coming in the top, I go that's on it. We will now make a change to 2220. Go down, and then we can now see for our chart of accounts. Ours is K K zero two US actually K zero two US is the one. And go that on it. So let us now make a change of this one. Find two two one zero to two two zero two zero. It must be available. I think so. Two zero. Yeah. So our accrual is two two zero, whereas liability is two two one zero. So I go there. 2220, it has to accept it. Then the thing which is now going on a round round, it will now stop now. The value is correct actually. Let us go there and then top in the click on the save now. It will now save when it is save. And then we will now come back and then to ensure that it is now properly set actually. It takes us more, some more time now. <clears throat> 2220 is correct here now. So till now, no message came in the bottom. So we are saving the accrual account. And similarly, accrual clearing has to be set now, right? Whenever you're clearing the account, right? in this place, we'll be clearing the account. So accrual is a notional liability. And then uh, this indicates about how much of money we are supposed to make a payment to the suppliers. So if it is in a huge amount, the purchasing department may even stop the further purchase orders actually. So accrual plays a very big role as far as the procurement is concerned, but it doesn't play any big role as far as your payables is concerned. That other your finances is concerned. We don't, they don't, they don't bother much about it. And that too, this is a very important one only for the companies which are not rich actually. If a company is rich, they will not consider at all this one. But many companies are basically monitoring the accrual, and so you'll have a lot of work on this one. So click on save and close now. 
steps even close and then the mode of it now and again we'll know requery it actually let's see whether it has got changed or not friend 2101 seven close if it has got reclosed friend and then make a check of it whether it has now properly got in or not and then whenever you are knocking off whenever you are writing off the accrual accrual clearing has to be set now right we we'll have to set up the accrual clearing also so over there so it's still going on now not it saved actually so right click and then allow duplicate sometimes what happens by duplicating we can even make a check of it <clears throat> so ebv is somewhat slow <clears throat> and then we have already created a new arc j051 point so on which we are going to work upon Go to space bank. You know what? This place we go there, and then you know, ready for it. And then right click and then duplicate. This place we go there. So we are in this place, and then here it messed up. It has to come. It is not still working upon. So uh, we will have to do one more thing. Fine, go to the corner. We will not click on it. We will not go to the accrual clearing. We will not set it up. We will go to set up and maintenance, and then we will not set up the accrual clearing. That is still working on this now. <coughs> go there. I will not make it. What? Go there. Manufacturing and supply chain, and then expenses also has to be set. Actually, then only it will be working properly. Go there. It's a manage percentage, map percentage, set percentage. Then enter now. So go there. Go space. Still working or no? What? So save and close, and then come out of it. Actually, go there. So to do two zero is already there. I will not come. I will not click on the accrual account organization. Then make a check whether it is all okay or not. So go down. So on the K zero two, it must be two 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 zero. Yes, it has now got it. My brother. So we'll now cancel it and then we'll now go to the what's called accrual clearing. Actually, my dear brother, canceling it. So accrual clearing. I will now go and check on the accrual. Accrual clearing. So I am not sure that accrual clearing is not coming. Expenses, exp and ses. I wanted the there is no the financial team over here now. Uh, it may be available on the payable side. Okay? Expenses and accrual clearing may be available on the payable side. Maybe click on that. Will now try to go on and see this now. Right? So will now go there. We will now cancel it. Done it. Well, and uh, one one more account has to be set. That I will not show the error and then I will not set it up. Go there. Receipt accounting has to be set. So I will now go to the financials. In the financials, I will now go to the payables. No financials. I will now go to the payables on the left hand side. So on the payables, what happens? I will now say manage mapping set and then entry now. No see whether we have it. Now. So manage mapping set of payables will now go there. I will now see whether accrual clearing is there here or not. That's what. So manage mapping set. I click on it. If I am in the payables manage mapping set, accrual clearing is now there or not? We will now say right. expand it. We will now say accrual clearing. In space, man, give it. Uh, it is not coming at all. When C L E A R enter in now. I don't know where to set it up. Oh God. Uh, it may be in the receipt accounting or not. We'll not see on the receipt accounting. Man, that one. We'll not go to what uh, receipt accounting. <clears throat> we have to go to the receipt accounting. So we'll not go there. Click on it. We'll not check on this place itself. Man, brother. Now we'll go to the manage mapping set, manage percentage, map percentage, set percentage, and then we'll now go to the receipt accounting and then see if the receipt accounting will now see whether the accrual clearing is there or not. In the receipt accounting, we'll now see this one. So go to the manage mapping set of the receipt accounting. The receipt accounting it may be there. Now we'll now say accrual only. ACC. Sir, it's there. Clearing, clearing is there. Uh, accrual is there. Yes, is there. Now we'll uh, accrual clearing. I want actually. A C C R U A L accrual clearing is the one which I needed actually. If you click on accrual is only there and oh god, it may be a clearing account. Fine, let us now set up a clearing account. We will now see whether the clearing is the accrual clearing or not. There is one clearing on for account rule clearing actually. Click on clearing. since I don't know <clears throat> that is where I will lag actually. I will now add a chart of accounts. 
go there drop it out then it is a k k0 to us k0 to us no and we put it because if we don't put it properly then accounting will not take place properly at all so go there i will now put the item number and then finally what happens that we have to show the account number over here now find what you want where is the account number inventory or inventory go item and then k2 k02 us output is what if you see the output of this now input is so and so uh it doesn't show me any output of output is simple account or what and i will now open up the account of i got the account file and then i will now open up the ak1 <clears throat> So go to the natural account. I will now give control H and then say clearing C L E A R. Then find out. So auto account clearing is there. Find next. Find next. Find next. A P A R clearing is an asset account. Clearing account will not be an asset account actually. It must be an expense account. Find for this clearing. Cash clearing is there. So it's all in one. It's not coming now. I will now say accrual clearing. C N Y. Find next now. Find where we got it. So two nine two nine is an account. Find where I will now open up a notepad. I will now say it is approval clearing. Two nine two nine. Got it. So we will now put that account over here now. It is two nine two nine. Go there because only it's not having any list of values basically. Output is two nine two nine. I'm setting it now. Right? Come on, yar. I will now set as a default actually. Set as a default for everything. So accrual clearing is going to be default for all the inventory org, all the categories, all item numbers basically. Two nine two nine. Whether it accepts or not. Oh God, it is not coming. Okay, here. Now it's saying right? zero 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 one. I will now say put. So that was not coming properly there actually. Zero one. I will put zero zero zero. Zero one zero zero zero, and then here two nine two nine. Okay, okay, let's go. That that maybe I have to expand the field. They don't give coming. So click on okay now, and that is done. So accrual clearing is now set, and then I am going to set it for all. And similarly, expenses also has to be set now. That's why I wanted to do everything at last thing, and then very very then no, <laughs> I made a mistake, and then I got stuck actually. That's it. Nothing wrong. So click on save and close now. We are setting a clearing mapping set for create for the account rule clearing. Okay, I don't know what exactly it is now. I'm not very clear about whether this is correct or not. I will now have to go for expenses also. Expenses and then query for account performance. Now see any mapping set is available or not? Expenses. It is not there. Right. I will now see on the cost accounting itself any expenses there or not? Receipt accounting has got a clearing. We will now see on the expenses for the cost accounting. Ah, go there. So it's uh, not manage percentage, map percentage, set percentage. I'm entering now. Manage mapping set. So I will now go to the cost management. Okay, we're not coming as a cost management. Okay, click on the no part. So it is not the one. So we have to go to some other area and then come back now. Go to financials first of all. And then again come back to manufacturing and supply chain management, and then query for this one. <clears throat> Simulation is a really very cost management. You know, one and see whether the expense is coming or not. So here also, you know, working fine with the cost management. Cost accounting is coming. Thank you for it. So in this one, we will now see whether the expenses is there or not. What are the manage mapping set of cost management? Or anything on the expense? If you find anywhere, please tell me now, fine, so that I will now put put the account also. So that when so you take a trial balance, you'll be able to see everything very properly actually. <coughs> so click on it and now go to the expenses here now. <coughs> expenses, click on search now. Nothing is there. Leave it. So okay, we are unable to find out that account now. Fine. So even the clearing is a cruel clearing or not is not very clear actually. So some or other we are managing it. Then what happens? You go there and then have a look at uh, the payables. Uh, what sorry, your period must be open actually. The payable period must be open. Then only we will be able to create invoices. No point. Go to general accounting, and then here you go to the period close, and then ensure that the payable period are open. 
So we have already opened it yesterday, but just to ensure that it is open now, <coughs> we'll not go on and see. <coughs> Both the GL and then the payments are open actually. So just to ensure it, we are opening up and then having a look at it. Whether the payments window are open or not. <coughs> Click on the period close on the general accounting. It will not show you all the periods, whatever is there. So okay, GL is open and then the payables is also open for the month of August. And that's okay. So payables is open and then everything is there. So we are given the cost accountant and then we are given the data access also for the cost org as well as the business unit. Fine. Those things are already completed. So let us now go there and then create an item directly. <coughs> I'll go and then create an item. Go there. I go to the product management and then I go to the product information management. And then let us now create an item. Having set up some of the accounts, we have to log out and log in. After creating the item, I will log in. I log out and log in. Have a habit of logging in, log out and log in very frequently. So 2220 is our uh, uh, accrual account, and then 2210 is the liability account. So we are going to create an item now. So this time I will know K, K02, and then 0 will be coming automatically. That is our master R. Uh, is a capital K thing. Capital K is zero. Thing. So he has given the capital K thing. Not coming. What is this? K zero two. Yeah, is a K zero M actually. He has given a K zero M as a master. Hello, go there, and then I will apply the purchase item template now. Purchase item template is the one time with the one and the Okay. So this time I will now get the second item of the costing of fine. So yesterday we tested on the cost item. Now we are going to test it on the second item. It will be a complete one. And so that is why whatever I'm not doing it. So I will now say it is a J05 underscore cost underscore two. That is the second item. So take a copy of it and put it in the description. And then I will now say underscore DESC. So it's all done. So I will now go to the specifications and then go to the purchasing. And then I will now make the list price as one now so that it will be easy for us to monitor actually. So go there, click on it, you go to the purchasing, and then let me make the list price as well. So that it will be easy for us. And then the taxation is not configured now. So it will be easy uh, to, what happens, uh, make a, a monitoring of it very easily. So go to the association, and let me associate my child of J051. <coughs> association, I go there. Go to actions, and then go to what? Select NAT, and then let me associate with the child of J051. J051. And then entering. So the one J05, thank you, and apply and then done. And then let us save the J05 cost to the, the profile is auto, remember. So the cost profile is auto automatically. The item is now assigned to your average costing organization. Average costing. Close. So J05 cost to the cost profile is auto because of which it will be having a uh, what's called your average costing. Now let me log out and log in because some changes have been made. Sign out and sign in once. Whenever you make any major changes, it is preferable to sign out and sign in. So click on sign in now. I will now close the other ones. Now we will now go and then create a purchase order for this. So click on the home icon and then go to the procurement and then create a purchase order. You're not creating a purchase order. So go there. So go to the procurement and then here go to the purchase orders and then let's now create a purchase order. So this is the one and then I will now say PO number. Go to this place and then you click on it. You go to the create order. I will be creating an order for the cost underscore two now. And then right click and then duplicate. Right click and then duplicate. Yeah, we are not going to create an order now. This will be the receiving it. So in this place, what I'm going to do is I'll now go to the supply chain execution and then uh, I will have to approve and then I have to receive it. I'm going to go to the inventory management and then open up the receiving. So in the meantime here, what happens, I go there. Supplier is K02. So do multitasking so that it will be, you'll be able to utilize the time actually. And then they have got two suppliers. One is a consigned supplier and then one is the normal supplier. I'm going to choose the normal one over here. I'll be choosing the normal side over here. Now. Supply side and supply contracts coming. So the default location is not this one. I will now choose my location J05 underscore. And remember, I have already given the data set for this location actually. 
point. The organization has been given a point. So go that corner. I have given, nah? Am I correct? Uh, have you given the inventory as well as receiving and then warehouse manager room? Where yes, manager? Sir. I have given, okay, then, yeah. So click on, so I have already given those things. So we'll be able to fully receive and then what happens? The, put the, the delivery also. Put away also can be done. Data access has been given for the receiving agent as well as the warehouse manager. So we already done it. So we'll be able to fully put it out, put away also. Receive and then put away. So now it's coming up now. Case one, sub, sub one is coming here and then place one. I go there. I will now go to the receiving area. Make it the where the receipts And then here I will now change the organization to what? Receive expected shipment to J051 actually. Change or to click on change or to J051. So J051. Then click on OK now. So if the receiving agent is uh, given, uh, data access is given, it will be accepting it actually. It has accepted it and go there. So in this place, any document is coming from go down. And then in the bottom, you give a plus and then add the item. How many items will come now? Tell me. How many items are going to come now? Anybody? Two items, sir. Two items are what are they? Uh, you are very correct, actually. The recently created and the last one created. Exactly. The recently created and the last one, they will, both of them will be coming. Very correct. Shankar has passed the test now. So both items will be coming. So the past item as well as the recently created item, only these two will be coming. Thank you that. So cost two, thank you that. So I will now go for a quantity 100 over here. And if you're finding any mistake anywhere, please immediately point out to me. Otherwise, what happens? the whole process will be a waste actually. But sir, we are not going to define the cost of the item in the costing for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, cost is not, a, it is not going to come down. Right? Items cost is not specified anywhere. So you will be having the cost coming up very quickly. So 100 quantities one, and then you go there, go to the schedules, and then here, go there, click on it. We'll be doing it. Go to the schedules, and then I will now see the dates. Click on it. I want it today itself. And then here, go there, edit it, and then make the result routing a standard. So that we will be able to test both now. First, initially, what I will do is I will now make the receipt accounting first, and then afterwards, the cost accounting. No orders. So first, we are going to make a receipt accounting. Receipt accounting is a big subject again, fine. So we'll now perform the receipt accounting, and then afterwards, we'll now go to the cost accounting. We'll go there, we'll now have a look at it. It is a nice standardism. It's okay. So click on OK, and then we'll now submit the 2009. 2009 is a purchase order. I hope that uh, there won't be any problem. Fine. Nobody would have modified the approvals. It will be a self approval, I think, automatic approval. So you know, we have submitted for approval 2009. It is our standard receipt. Fine. The receipt routing is standard. The price is 100 quantities are now getting ordered now. So once it is submitted, we will now receive this in the gate. Actually. So once when you receive in the gate, this account will not be hit at all. These two accounts will not be hit at all. Fine. No accounting is hit at all. Unlike in EBIS, EBIS accounting is perpetual. Here it is not perpetual. So here, uh, only when you push it into costing, it will all be coming into picture. Oh God, instance is also slow. You can't help it actually. <laughs> if you have any doubts, you can ask me. No, no, no. How? Uh, how, how against the agreement, three thousand won't exceed its amount limit. No, fine. So for this, we already have this. No, fine. So we have to uh, adjust the three thousand one first of all. No. So two thousand nine is coming. Fine. Give us save now. Uh, it me, it me, it me. You are doing something wrong. No, no, no. In EBS, it is like uh, at, uh, based on the transaction getting completed. So immediately you can go in. Yeah, it is a perpetual thing in EBS. Here it is not so. Here okay, it is not so. perpetual account. Fine. No accounting is there as far as uh, uh, this thing is concerned. Uh, e fusion is concerned. Okay. No accounting takes place. Now we have to push it into costing and then create all the accounting actually. I will not go to the manager agreements. 3001, I will not go there because there is no exceeding actually fine. You will not increase it now. So I will not say 3001 is the one. 3001. Click on search. Now. You can search for it. He must be the buyer only fine. He must, be, he must have created it. So we are searching for it. We are getting it. And then I will not go there. I will not go to actions and then I will not go to edit now. So that pushing activity, what is the frequency like? Uh, yeah, we will see this. We will see about how we are going to push and then how we are going to account it. Everything we are going to see one by one gradually. I will now say enhancement. Enhancement of amount agreed. I want, I want to find 
thousand is not so in mother one kajakaja 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 fine mother so that we will not have any problem at all one million are done fine mother so i will now submit for approval fine take on it so change order one is now for enhancement of amount agreed so three thousand one is now going to go for approval so once when it is done then we will be able to uh, submit the two thousand nine for approval actually we have to wait for this uh, enhancement to come in the change order is now submitted for approval actually going down and then go on and make a search for this If you search for it, you'll now find what happens. The yeah, I icon will be coming. It was coming previously also. I change order was pending previously also. Fine, brother. So that is not it. Implemented actually. Once when there is implemented, the I icon, the blue icon will go away. Say I don't want blue. It will go away. So here accounting process is slightly different than it is. A, they Oracle call it as an excellent process actually. When compared to Evis. So in Evis we have. What cost accounting separate and financial accounting separate here? Everything has been tucked together in one place. So this has to come now. So the I icon is gone now. You can see. So once when this is gone, <coughs> so once when this is gone, uh, you are able to hear me now. I'm just uh, okay. I'm ensuring that you are hearing. So now you go to the order manager. You go there. I will now click on submit. Now 2009 will be getting submitted. Previously it was throwing an error. Now the error was coming because what happens? It was exceeding the BPA's limit actually. Now BPA has got a limit. 2001 is approved. Now let us go there and then we will now have a look at what the what's called. You go there. You will now go to again this one. The inventory management. Thank God that part. We will now make a receipt now. <clears throat> Receipts and then yeah, receive expected shipments against 2009. We are going to make a receipt. You are going to make a gate receipt. So 2009 is the one. You go to that corner. And then click on search. It's still in the process of approval now. Go that one. So click on search. The approval process is still going on. So once it is completed, you will be able to see the purchase order number coming up over here now. <clears throat> so 2009 is the purchase order. It was referencing 3001 BPA. So we have enhanced the limit, and so it will not have any problem at all for getting approved now. So. The approval process is still going on. You go there and then click on it. You now go to the manager orders. Now manage orders. Two thousand nine. You will not query whether anywhere it is getting struck or not. We are seeing. This place you go there. So click on search now. Got it. We got it. I'm going to try to click on there. It took some time for the approval to take place. Click on search now. We are now going to make a gate visit. So select it and then click on receive now. We are going to make a gate visit. So once when you make a gate receipt, the GRM will be made now. So in this place, I will now click on the show receipt quantity. It will now show me how much of quantity is now expected. Fine, so apply fine. Go click on hundred and then click on gate receipt. And then it is a receiving and so submittability cannot be populated over here. I will now say shipment number is one two three. The packing slip number is four five six. And then the shipment method, you go drop down. And then if it is available, we can use it now. Fine. Otherwise, we have to configure it. It is not available. Go that one. And then you go to the number of packing units is four now. And then the bill number is seven eight nine. The bill of lading is one two three four. And note is what note one. So always fill up every information so that when you take a report, you can very well understand about what all the other substantiating information for the particular receipt. Now, click on submit now. So the GRM number gets created, and then you'll be having a GRM number coming up as the receipt number. So two thousand nine is the purchase order number for which the GRM number is now going to come. So one thousand two is the GRM number for two thousand nine. No one. Now let us now push it into costing for costing purposes. Now. We have to push it. So right click and then duplicate. We are now going to push it into costing. Now. So this pushing into costing will be periodic actually. Now we are running it a, as a separate one. It will be running as a periodic one. Every concurrent of the costing will all be periodic. It will be running either half an hour or one hour or the frequency where the financial team will decide. Now. So click on that. schedule new process for that. So we are going to do for that. It is called transfer transactions to. Uh, from transfer transactions from receiving to costing. There are orders. We transfer transactions from receiving to costing is the concurrent. Give a tap. So write it shortly and then give a tap. It will become the full transfer. Me. It's called transfer transactions. We need to click on OK. So we are going to have the parameter coming up now. It is not having any parameters at all. Right. So once we are transferring it, so this is not having any parameter. Fine. Click on submit by which it gets transferred into costing actually. So for three twenty nine is the concurrent. So you go and then have a look at it. It will be done. Now let us go there, duplicate it, and then we'll now go to what 
the receiving the receipt accounting area now so since we have already given the cost accountant as well as the cost uh, the data access actually so if you go to the supply chain management supply chain execution you can now see the receipt accounting as well as the cost accounting is coming so we are going to begin with the receipt accounting we are not yet transfer we are not even delivered actually in the in the, this place the delivery itself has not been done we have only received in the gate and then we have pushed in the costing area afterwards we will now perform the what happens the delivery as well as we will also push it now fine first of all let us now complete this activity this itself is a big activity so let us now complete this activity. so go to the receipt accounting and then monitoring whether it is now complete or not thank you very much transfer transactions from the receiving costing it will now go into the interface tables of the receipt area it is now gone to the interface tables now what you have to do is you have to create the distributions accounting distributions we have to create go that one we will look at accounting distributions we are now come to the receipt accounting area so click on it and then let us now create the receipt accounting distributions create receipt accounting distributions we are going to click on it now you are going to create distribution once it has reached we are going to create it. so it will be pulled from the interface table to the base tables actually go there so it is a k02 is a one give a tap the business unit is coming <coughs> go there anybody else has joined <coughs> k02 then click on search now we are searching for it ah here it doesn't come along in the advanced it comes now fine when it starts with 002 is there so if you try it to be coming so the business unit is k00 k02 thank you for it now sir for receipt costing and cost uh, cost accounting we need cost accountant role to come of course cost accountant role is the only role which is required actually oh is a capital k thank you we need only the cost accountant role. so cost accountant role will not take care of receipt accounting as well as cost accounting And remember, we are not even open the costing periods. Costing periods will be opening only when this area, the cost accounting area. Receipt accounting is a big one as far as purchasing is concerned. Now, right? purchasing is very much concentrating only on the receipt accounting, and then the purchasing managers will be concentrating on this part. That's fine. This is the way. So we are going to concentrate on this to a greater extent. Fine. This is basically it is going to give you a product costing. This is going to do the accrual management. Accrual management will be done in the receipt accounting. and then this is going to give the product costing from a what's called a purchasing perspective of course financial accounting also will not take place partly but uh, we are not bothered no more not bothered much about the financial accounting also correct also me no it is also better fact account post okay now it is not done so go on and monitor it now so the distribution is now getting created so it will now pull the data from the interface tables to the base tables of costing actually now importing it import transactions from interface to the receipt accounting From the interface, from interface to receipt accounting itself. So from the interface, it will now come into the receipt accounting. So create receipt accounting distribution is not done. So it is not done. It is now passed, and then it is now triggered. Yeah, it has spawned a child process, and then that is now bringing it to the base tables of receipt accounting. So once when it is brought, we can now very well do the accounting for it. In the receipt accounting, we can perform uh, accounting. so we have to push it into receipt area create the distributions and then perform the accounting these are the three activities which you have to complete now the distribution has come now fine go to space so create distributions we done now fine and this can can be running on a periodic basis remember it will be running on a periodic basis everything will be everything on the costing will be running on the you no need to manually run anything at all now there will be a problem here If you go and see, I have we have already given the AP accrual as what two 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 zero, whereas the receiving inspection we are able to set actually, and then it will not show an error again. I know that one. It will not show the error here. When I do the credit accounting, it will not show an error. It's not coming from there. So we will now go to the receiving area. We will now have a review of the result accounting distribution. Right? We we'll go there. We will now go to this place, and then we will now review it. What one? We already created the result accounting distribution. We will now review the result accounting distribution. We are going to review it now. So once we review it. We'll also item is what I will now put J zero five underscore cost underscore two now. Click on search. And the search part. The distribution will now show you everything properly. But once when I create an accounting, it will now say receiving inspection is missing actually. That account you are not given now. I got that one. So distribution processed. It says what the distribution is now processed. That is what I am saying. If you go for that, whatever the status, the transaction status is what distribution is now processed. Go for that. Go for that. It will also show the document number two thousand nine. The one it will show you all the information regarding whatever you give. Now, find supplier, and then the receipt number is one thousand two. Find every information will be available. Okay, go down, and then here you can see the costing is now done. Right now, here here only the costing is taking place. 
So we don't have any costing on the uh, inventory wide. So once when you bring it to the receipt area, then the transaction cost is come. The ledger cost is overcome. So if you go to the distributions, you can now see here, what happens, you see, the receipt in section will be debited and then AP accrual will be credited. Accrual will be credited. So accrual is now credited and then the receiving inspection is now debited. Now, if you go to the journal entries, you'll not have any account at all. For the journal entries, you don't have any account at all. So let us now create the accounting. So three activities on a receipt area. One is what? Pushing it into receipt area, then creating the distribution and then account it. Now. So let us now create the accounting. Let us now go on and get accounting. <clears throat> we'll now give it done on this now. Now, accounting is going to fail actually. So it says distribution processed on the previous one. We'll now go to the create accounting. So since we are not given the receiving inspection account, that is going to fail actually. Drop it down. We'll now go to the receipt accounting. So it is a receipt accounting. Ledger is K02, and then you have now. That is the ledger. <coughs> go down. Everything is come fine. It is final. And then I will say in the detail now. Now, this is going to fail actually because the receipt accounting, uh, the receiving inspection account is missing on this. One. So let us now submit it. So once we submit it, Okay, no. You know, you need the process options or something like that to uh, schedule it actually. Go there. So it is now going to run it. So the create accounting is now running. So once when it completes, what happens, you can now see what exactly is the one. So in the meantime, I will now go there. I will now try to, what happens, right click and then I will now go to this place. Find the, uh, we will now uh, have to set up the receipt accounting. So I will now click on this. Go there. I will not parallel work actually. I will not go to the setup and maintenance. And then I have to go to the receipt accounting area and then set up the receiving inspection. Go to this place. You go to manufacturing and supply chain management. And then you go to the manage mapping set now. Manage percentage. Map percentage. Set percentage in the entry now. You have to go to the receipt, area, receipt accounting, not the cost accounting. Receipt accounting. So we go to the receipt accounting. And then there, the receiving inspection account has to be set. So click on the manage mapping set. And then we'll now set up the Z, Z ins, inspection according. Receiving inspection. Receiving. Receiving. And then click on search. We're getting. So receiving inspection is going to click on it. We'll now set it up. In the meantime, what happens? We go there. And then the monitor process will now see the cost create accounting would have ended in the warning. If you go on and see, the create accounting will be ending in a warning. So create accounting is the end of the warning. So you can now see it's ended in the warning. And then the in, uh, create accounting execution report will now have a look at it. So that report will tell you what exactly the warning message is. So the create accounting will now give you execution report also. Click on it, you now have a look at it. What exactly the warning? Go to space. So we'll now republish it because the report can be very well republished actually. Click on it. We are going to republish it. Go down. In the output area, I will now click on the republish and then have a look at it. Go there, export the PDF. And then how open it? Open it up and then so open. So is the result of connection go down? Go down. So it says what? There are number of transactions eight. Now find number of events processed is zero actually. So K0 to US find all that. So now invalid journal entries is eight actually. So it says what? Input uh, source value does not map to an output source element. Find the result. Receiving inspection. This is what I say. So you must enter this now, fine. because of it, there are so many things are there. So is there any of our, any of our uh, 2009 is there now, fine. transaction number is coming. Uh, I think ours is 1002, isn't it fine? 1002 may be the uh, GRN number, I think. So against which also this error is coming. Number of journal entries, if you click on the one, you will not see it not shows. No, fine. See, accrual account is 2210. Ah, it is not our 2210. Fine. You are given 2220, actually. yeah, this is the one. So this is the one. So the first one is ours now. Fine. 2220, we already changed it actually. Accrual. The receiving inspection account is there. Fine. The input source does not match. This is our problem actually. The 2210 was previous ones. So the receiving inspection one has to be there. Now let us set up the receiving inspection. Then we'll also have a look at it in this place also. So this is a report actually. I'm going to go on location, close it down. And then in the receipt recording work area, if you go there, click on it. If you go and then see the review result recording distribution here also, it will not clearly say that this is the problem. So you go there, click on it. I will now put the item is what J05 underscore cost underscore two and then make a search for this. So once we make a search, 
it has to show me this one. So previously, it showed me as a distribution processed as a transaction status. Now you'll see it is an error actually. This is an error actually. Transaction status is error. So previously, it was distribution processed. If you go down and then see on this place, fine, distribution is okay. Cost is okay, distribution is okay. But in the journal entries, you'll be having a red color. Quang, quang. <clears throat> that is nothing but what you know. Right? So if you expand it, it will not show you this. So the receipt in inspection is now giving a problem. It is now saying the input source does not map to what happens the receiving inspection. So let us now go on and give the receiving inspection account here. Go to this place. I go to this place. Receive expected shipments. Go there. So click on this now. So where is our thing here? Manage mapping set. Which one does now? Fine. Go to the manage mapping set here. All of this one. So in the receiving inspection, I am going to add it now. So let me add it. I click on plus now. I am not going to add it. I already opened that receiving inspection account. I'm going to drop it down. I will now put K over here now. K02 is the one. So K02, yes. So let us now add a receiving inspection actually. Go down. So click on plus now. In the meantime, what happens? You now see the receiving inspection account in this place now. You will now go to this place. I will now give a control H and then say receiving inspection. IN. Now see, find next now. Not having anything at all. So, oh, I will now make receiving IN. Find receiving and then find next now. Oh, it is not there at all. So, the search is yes. only receiving. Okay, only receiving. Okay. R E C I V I N G receiving. We will now make a find. Now find next. Ah, it is not there at all. So, this must be an expense account, and so I will now choose some expense account over there. Because it's going to be knocked off actually. I will not say uh, receiving inspection. No, fine. Control H. What else I can say? INSP will not try. Fine. INSP inspection. I will take off now. So we don't have any account at all for receiving inspection actually. Fine. Okay, close now. Fine. Let us now choose some expense now. <clears throat> ah, service and maintenance. Okay. 6507. I will not say receiving inspection account is what? 6507. P1 number is how much? 2009. Fine. 2009. The one 2009 and then receiving inspection. So, what I'm going to do uh, 6507 6507 is the one I'm now putting it. Accrual clearing is so nice. Receiving inspection, I'm going to go drop 6507. So, in fact, what happens? All the accounts has to be properly set. Actually, it may, it may have been there. I don't know where exactly it is. Okay. So, uh, it may be having a different name basically. That is the reason it is not visible actually. So, make a check of and if you are able to get it, put exactly that one. Go to space. And then here, I will now put down this one. Again, uh, the thing is not coming fine. Expand it and then you will be getting the what's called the magnifier icon now. So, it is a 01006507. That is the account. I will now set it as default. So 6507 is an account, account of 6507. So click on set as default. It will be for all the inventory or the receiving inspection account will be for all the inventory or 6507 is So that is now getting set actually. <clears throat> no, no, it's triple zero. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh God. No, after some time it will now give you an error number. Zero, 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 zero. It will say some error will be coming up. 01006507. Oh God, it is already slow and then it is not doing. Now, in the meantime, what we will do is we will now make an invoice. Now, fine. Right click and then duplicate. We will now create an invoice for us. So, let us all done. This activity is now going on now. Uh, where the place now? So, 65. The second tab is it. So, we will now take a copy of it. Fine. We will now. Uh, what happens? We will not try to close it. It takes a longer time. I don't know. In this area, it takes a longer time. Now, let us now create an invoice for us. Well, go to the payables. Click on the payables. I'm not going to make a payables invoice. Let me create an invoice. Uh, ah, I think it is oh, not, still roaming around. The set as default is also coming, but it is not at set actor. Right? Let us now create an invoice for us. Right? Click on the create invoice. <coughs> invoice is there. So we have only view invoices. Fine, go that one. We'll now see create invoices separately. Fine. I don't know. Why, I don't know why the create in create button is not coming. Fine. Click on the create invoice. So my invoice number is what? 
So 2009 is the invoice number. So let us now create an invoice first. A PO number is 2009 for which we are not going to create an invoice. Ah, no luck. So click on it. We will now be creating an invoice for this. So we will now put the PO number of 2009. And then let us say we are now going to create the supplier has now supplied an invoice for 100 now. So the user department has found some problem with the supplies actually. So they have instructed the payable scheme to what happens to hold 20% of the payment. So the payables clerk is now going to create invoice only for 80 quantities. Remember, this happens in many, many companies. So I didn't even be I'm going that. So it'll be coming up over here automatically. The business unit, the supplier, supply number, everything will be coming. So the payables clerk is now going to create only invoice for 80 quantities and not for 100. More. And remember, accrual is quantity based actually. This place, if you see on this place, accrual is totally quantity based and it is represented in money. But quantity is a prime one on which you are going to accrue. You will not make what happens, let us say, 3,000 or 4,000. I am going to make it now. Amount is only 80. Even though the supplier has supplied an invoice for 100, I am not going to make it only for 80. One dollar, not fine. I am now putting uh, 80 quantities actually. So go there. I will not say 20%. Some information we are giving it for this invoice, the 4,000 invoice. Now we are going to obtain it by matching. In our company, it is a very strict instruction that the invoice line has to be relieved. Accrual has to be relieved. No manual invoice is allowed at all in uh, Ispath Industries bombing. The, the internal audit has given a very clear instruction because the moment you make one invoice, the total amount of accrual becomes invalid actually. So uh, it is very strongly advised in our company that invoice has to be matched rather than obtained. When you match it, the accrual gets cleared and then it will be done. When you, when you do it, the accrual is getting cleared. So for the ID, in match invoice lines and then go there, I will not give a go now. By matching, I'm going to obtain the distribution. The distributions are obtained by matching to the PO actually. Go there, click on it, and then you're not creating it. So the line gets distributed, and then in the line, what happens? I'm going to do it. In the second, whatever they go there. Oh God, it's still working. You know, one zero six five zero someone. Ah, maybe because of one mistake, I think probably. The whole thing is now slowed down actually. Can anyway, you go there? You will now go and then again click on this and go to the manage mapping set. What is the setup and maintenance? So we are not creating it. So you will come and select it and then here on this place match invoice. I go there. I will now put the quantity as 80 now. Remember, it is a quantity, quantity relieving and not the amount relieving. So 80 quantities are now relieved. So that out, of, out of order is available, 100 is available for relieving, and then only 80 quantities we are now relieving it actually. Click on it, click on it. So the accrual gets really only for 80 quantities, and then click on OK, by which the distribution gets created actually. Still not coming. So we'll now go there, go to this place, and then I will now go to what? Manufacturing and supply chain management. And then I will now go to the manage mapping set. Manage percentage, map percentage, set percentage, and then enter now. So I'll now go to the receipt accounting. And then this screen, I will now close it now because okay, a connection has failed. Then what is it? Close it now. In this place, we will now go there. Go to the receipt according, go to the manage mapping set, and then we will now add ours over here. You know, there some mistake we have made, and then for other way, not coming. So go there. We will now go to the receiving inspection. You are getting it that point. Any doubts, you can ask me. If you are having any doubt, you can ask me. I hope that you are all understanding it. So, receiving inspection, I go there, and then I will be adding my Chart of accounts over here. Click on plus now. Let me add the chart of accounts. Drop it down. Now put K over here. K. So K is equal to US. What is go there? So click on plus now. And then put our number over here now. Paste it over here and go there. Click on it. I will now set as default. Now. Click on set as default. That was having a problem. Let us hope that this gets set immediately. 01006507 is our receiving inspection account now. <coughs> Hey, come, come. So if you set, then what happens? You can even give a save and then come out of it. So here you go there. It is not done. Fine, go there. Click on what we will now validate it. So give a save first of all. In the invoice, the distribution is now created for 80 quantities. 20 is now still available on the, on the what's called your uh, uh, accrual area. So we are saving it. 
So one one reason we are going to validate the invoice. Validation is basically for processing it actually. So one so it says what it is not validated. It goes I go to the place I will now validate the invoice. Go there. So click on validate. So once when you validate it, your pro, your manager has to approve or whatever it is. Atana once when it is validated, it becomes eligible for create accounting actually. So four thousand will now become eligible for create accounting. It's now getting validated and recorded. So here we are still putting this now. It is not done. Fine. The star has come now. Fine. Was it on it? I will now give a save and close. Now. The receiving inspection account is not. I will now again go and make a check of it. Whether it is not come there or not. Or not. No, 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 no. So the receiving inspection account for the K zero two. If you go and see, can you see this one? So it is not that properly. Now let us go there and then we will now do again the credit accounting on this one, on the receipt area. So receive expected shipment is that time. Was it on it? So we have the edit mapping set and then we have the review now. So let us now go there and then run the create accounting again for this one. So it was ended in the error actually. Go there. So click on create accounting and then you go to it. Click on create accounting. We are now clicking on create accounting. So the subledger is receipt accounting. Receipt accounting. So ledger is K zero two. Then give it up. Go down and then it's final and then it will be in detail actually. So everything is done on final. So click on submit by which. We are not, the accounting error will be going away because we are now given the receiving inspection account. So go to the manage, go to the monitor process, and then have a look at it. This time you will not get a warning at all. So previously, what happened is that uh, uh, it has not done fine, and then it is unable to do posting on this. So the credit accounting has ended no warning. This time you will not get any error at all because we have that uh, receiving inspection account set properly. So it has not done the what's called you see post subledger journal entries everything is now coming fine it has to import now fine in the credit accounting has to import a journal entry that has not happened the credit accounting has to import a journal entry because of the error it has not imported a journal at all you know saying post subledger everything is coming but first of all it has to import import the journal entry then only the credit accounting is very perfect actually otherwise it is not perfect at all. So we are given six five zero seven. That accounting will be coming out here for us. Suppose John Samuel. Now it has to import. Now. It has to perform an import. The credit accounting has to import the journal actually. So the the GL can process this actually. Yes, import journal is coming. One bit cheap. We got it. So we got it. So, because the inspection, the receiving inspection is going to set on the receipt, receipt accounting, so it is now importing it. So, we'll now have a look at the what's called the processing. So, import journal system. Now, what we have to do is we have now what done the what's called distribution is now created. Fine, this is now validated. So, now we have to run the create accounting for payables actually. So, create accounting for payables. And so remember, this is also available in this area. So we will be doing it from the receipt accounting itself. We will now run the create accounting for the tables invoice actually for the tables invoice it has been created. Now. So we will now run this now. So we will now see the liability will be created once when you run the create accounting for the payable side. The liability will now get created actually. If you see that. So go to this place and this place go there. Uh, this is okay. We have not done now. Monitor process will go there. So you can now see everything will be coming. So you will be having the report first of all. So the post. Single journal, fine. There's no problem. Single ledger, fine. That's also getting updated. Now the report will be running. Execution now running. So if you have a look at it, you'll be able to see the six five zero seven coming up very properly. It's not succeeded. Fine, click on it. I'm going to go there. I'm not so choosing it. Fine, create accounting by execution report. I'm choosing it. I'm going to go there. Click on it. I'm not choosing it. Go there. And then here, I will click on the republish output. Fine, go there. Click on it. Now go there. Click on it. I will now export it to PDF. So this time, I can now see this. Click on show all. I will look at it. So you can see that uh, there's eight transactions. Uh, number of events processed is eight. All of them are processed. Previously, all of them are failed. Actually, my everything is there. Just close. Let me go there. Six five zero seven is coming. 
accrual receiving instruction that is for 6 dollars that is not ours actually when ours is really 80 now but it is not ours it is not ours it is not ours 100 200 then zero come on here where is ours 1000 sir 1000 yeah yeah 1000 is the number so where is the 1002 number is this transaction number you have to see now okay okay very good no, before yeah yeah transaction number you have to see very good so this is the one so the grn number it is now process for this one so 100 has come now all the 100 has come over here but we are now processed only 80 in the payables actually in the payables we are now only processing it. so we got this 2220265071 is now done the receiving inspection account is what it is now debited and then accrual is credited so you see you can now see this place receiving inspection account is debited and then the accrual is credited properly in the accounting also previously on the distribution we have seen it now on the distribution and now on the accounting also we are very well seeing the receiving is now debited and then the accrual is credited with the appropriate account number accrual is credited with the appropriate account number well, now if you go there and then see in the accrual balances go that if you go and have a look at the accrual balances and close it now it will be showing only 100 the payables one will not be there at all so you now go to the what's called uh your area uh ov area for that in this place we go that on it we will now have look at what adjust receipt account accrual balances actually so adjust, we are going to set uh, that accurate receipt and accurate period and that we are going to set here that is only for the expense item we have to set now right only for the expense item fine okay. uh we will be setting it up on the manage common options you know since you asked for it i will not tell you fine Accru inventory is always a receipt only whereas only for expense you have the option now expense you have the option of what receiving uh, or rather accruing at either period or receipt now so that you want it so go to sir for maintenance only for the expense items go that you want it go to search now Just manage common options payables and everything right for the payables and everything payables and purchasing it says payables and purchasing but it is only for payables actually previously in evs it was it is common for payable procurement so they have kept it and then later on they have modified it it is only for payables actually even if you don't set it procurement will coolly work actually but it is not correct you have to set up everything finally because accounting is not taking place only in payables so it, this has to be set first and then afterwards go there now go there k02 and then give it a tap so once you give a tap here we have the accrue at receipt and the other account with the expense account fine right? accrue expense item at receipt or period this option is available here only it is not so in ebus no fine it is different actually yeah okay uh, sir okay expense account was place i will not give a cancel always come out of cancel do not save and close people have a habit of saving and come coming and all you have not done any modification then you should not save at all you should cancel and come fine right? you must have uh, uh, no what i will do is we will now go and then have a look at this something called the receipt accounting the receipt accounting area where i was now doing something for the good area so click on the adjust receipt uh, receipt accrual balances basically if you click on it now go on and see so we have already created 80 dollars for this now right i will now say starts with i will now put your k02 and that make the adjust receipt accrual balance if i click on such now so once when you search for it it will not show you how much is now available as a balance actually ours is 2009 you see we have only one entry now In the bottom we have only one entry. The invoice is now created for eighty dollars. It is yet to come now. Fine. Whatever has been done, the inventory has come over here, but the invoice of eighty dollars is yet to come. So it says the entire hundred is now balance actually. So now we have created what eighty dollars worth of invoice. There is eighty quantities actually. Now once when you go and then push it into into receipt receipt accounting, then it will now go to minus twenty actually. So the balance is only minus twenty. So this means what? This much of a money has to be paid to various suppliers. You know, so this much of money. So let us now create accounting. First of all, you know, perform a create accounting on this one. for the payables. Click on it. We'll now do the create accounting for this one. So click on the create accounting. You can now do from the receipt accounting itself. The receipt itself you can do it now. Click on create accounting. We are now doing to go to do this do this place now. Okay, go that you want. Now it is for payables. I am going to do it. Go that. I will now do it for payables. There is payables. Is on here. Payables. Ledger is. K zero two and then we tap now. Uh, before which, what I was, I have to show you that now. Fine, I have not shown you that. Uh, I will now cancel it. We will now have a look at the accounting distribution which has been made as well. That is an option. So click on the now. Fine. 
will not go to review accounting distributions and have a look at now. Fine, review result accounting distribution. Now this time everything will be pakka actually. So go there. K is a, is a J05 underscore cost underscore two is the one. Fine, go there. Click on search. You're going to search for it. You're searching for it. Now there will not be any error at all. If you go to the journal entries, you will now see a pakka posting into the GL actually. So receiving inspection of one of my expanded, you know, see this one. So all this information is coming. We expanded, you can now see everything. So it has been transferred to GL also. It has been transferred to GL also. So it now puts your current month and then uh, put this as what receiving. Now. So current month and then receiving as a journal entry. Journal entry will be coming like this. So everything is now coming here. So receiving is now debited and then uh, uh, inspection is now credited actually. <clears throat> the accrual is credited actually. Receiving inspection and then is accrual actually. Accrual is credited. So all the accounts are now done. Click on the now. Now you have seen that minus hundred is now pending on this adjust one. In this adjust receiving result, fine. minus hundred because it is not it. Now let us now first of all account for that what's called your payable one. Fine. Click on it. We will now do the accounting. So click on it. We will now go to create accounting and then let us now create the accounting for the payables actually. Go down. Drop it down. I will now choose the payables over here. Payables accounting and do it. So go there. Click on it. And then ledger is what k02 so then give it a that will be coming and then go down it is detail like here and go the detail and then everything is okay i'm now posting to gl also and then click on submit so here you have the option of what the periodicity fine process options if you click on it now see we can even periodically run it now so. so language time format everything is coming this is not the one you have to go to the advanced and then you have to run it on the periodic fashion so every concurrent the people will be running it on a periodic fashion now. schedule it and go to the, the advanced you go to the schedule and then using a schedule, they will now periodically run it actually. So it will say once or what happens daily or hourly, put a hourly, and then they will now run it for every three hours or four hours or whatever it is now. Five hours. And then the shorter indeed they will now give and then do it now. So by which this concurrent will be running on a periodic basis. Okay. So I go there, I will now say as soon as possible. No, I'm not doing it. Fine, go there. Come on. So this is what is so go there and then in this place, go to the parameters now. Fine, click on the parameters, everything is okay. So finally, everything is okay, fine. This is the payables one. So we will now submit it. So the payables create accounting is now happening. Now. Click on submit. So the invoice has been created for $80 or for 80 quantities, remember. This is a quantity based one. The one. Over there. So we will now go to the monitor process and then have a look at it. Now, we are now creating a create accounting for the payables invoice actually. And that too has to be pushed only to the receipt area. So once when the payables invoice is now accounted, this is now accounted. It will be pushed into the, we have to push it into what? Into the, what's called the interface area of receiving actually. We have to push it into the interface area of receipt accounting. We have to push this into the interface area of receipt accounting. So create accounting is not right. So create accounting will not have any problem. And then even pushing it into payables, into costing also will not have any problem. So once when you push it, you have to tell me what I have to do next now. Tell me. Anybody? I am not going to create accounting. Do the create accounting. And then I am going to transfer it to costing by a concurrent called transfer cost to cost management. The transfer cost to cost, cost management will be basically pushing it into the interface tables of what your receipt accounting. Now tell me what I have to do next. Distribution to be created. No? Distribution to be created is 100% correct. Who is this? Shankar, sir. Shankar is very correct. We have to create distributions again. Claim on us now. Because it has now, this information has now landed on the interface tables of your receipt accounting. So we have to create distribution receipt accounting again. Got it? But since the concurrents are all running on what's called a periodic basis, even if you don't do it, at the next cycle it will be doing now. Got it? So that way it will all be done. You do not worry about it. So the frequency will be adjusted by the financial stream. So once when it lands in the interface tables of receipt accounting, we have to what? Create, do the distribution again. We are the distribution again. So click on it. We are again create the distribution. Shankar is excellent actually. Fine. Uh, he has already implemented a lot of projects on EVIS. So keep yourself as a friend of Shankar actually. He will be of great help to you. You see the way in which she is responding, excellent actually. Thank you, sir. <laughs> click on it and then go down and then here I'll now go to the place and then click on republish this. Thing. The payables one, we are now publishing it now. 
So click on show and then go there. The tables invoice accounting will be done. So it says one invoice is selected, one is processed, and then you can now see the liability is two two one zero, accrual is two 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 zero actually. So in this place, what happens? You'll not see this no fine. If you go on and have a look at it. So in this place. So once when the invoice is accounted, you can now see AP liability will be credited, and then your accrual will be debited actually. That is what is happening. So accrual is now debited. You can see accrual is now debited, and then AP liability is now credited. So that means what accounting is now complete. There is only one invoice which is there. So since the AP has set the uh, liability as two two one zero, I have changed the accrual to two 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 zero. Got it? Fine. Now is now credited. So this entry is also complete. Liability is now credited. Fine. Liability is now uh, AP liability means what? Uh, final one now. Fine. So liability cannot see. <clears throat> it is now credited. And then accrual gets relieved actually. This much of accrual is only relieved. Around hundred. Fine. Do that. Accrual this much of it. Now let us now push it into costing area. This data has to be after it is got accounted. So we have to push it to the costing area actually. In the tables also we can see this. I don't know how to see this output in the tables actually. Fine. Somebody will teach you on the tables. Do that. Now let us now push it into the costing area. Fine. Click on open. 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 So we'll now go there. We'll go to this place. Get a connect. And there is a create invoice. Okay. Fine. In this area, uh, how to see the accounting? I don't know how to see on this. Fine. Do that. Come on. There are so many are there. So if you know everything, but how to see the accounting? Uh, please tell me now. I don't know <clears throat> in the payables area. So we are done via receipt accounting, the credit accounting. Here itself, the credit accounting is not there. Only if you want to account in draft, you have a, a solution. But there will be something. I don't know how the payable team is doing it. Actually, I'm not aware of it. Go there, go to this place, and then in the receipt accounting area, what we have to do? What we have to again do the create distributions, create receipt accounting distribution. It's a very fast process. It will be doing it without without any parameters. Actually. Only the BU has to be given. No fine. Go there. So we are now going to what create distributions again. So click on submit now. Fine. So the AP invoice which has come into the receipt area, we are now creating the distribution for it. So we now we monitor for this now. Fine. We are now monitor for it. So go there. So uh, we will now say import transactions from interface. So it has now the AP invoice has been uh, what happens? Uh, oh sorry, I made a mistake now. I have not pushed it to the AP at all. <laughs> I made a mistake before which what happens? I have not. I am not trying to do that. What happens? I have to first of all push it to the costing area. Now, fine. That I have not done. Fine. That you want it. So this is, a, this is a wrong control actually. Fine. So we have to push it to fine. I will now say transfer. <clears throat> fine. Cost. Cost. This is the control I have done. So after it is accounted, we have to push it into the uh, interface area of receipt accounting now. Transfer cost to cost management is basically for payables actually. Efficient payables. So transfer cost to cost management will now whatever payables invoice is there will be landing up on the interface area of receipt accounting. Okay, fine. So the one transfer cost to cost management. Nishtha, others, are you clearly understanding it now? Fine. Or you can you say yes now? Hello. Or it is very confusing or very tough. Yes, yeah, sir. Got it. Little bit confusion. It is <laughs> really you again. Uh, what happens when you rerun this and then please take a note of it. So initially, what happens? We created the accounting for the invoice, and then we have seen the accounting. Right? After the accounting is done, we have to transfer cost to cost management. We have to transfer it to the what? The interface area of receipt accounting. So take on it. This will now push it to the interface area of receipt accounting. Get on it. So go there. The business unit is the one. K zero two. Let me give it a tab now. So click on submit. The date is the cutoff date. So go there. Up to what date you want to push? Now? Fine. That is very important. Now. The payable zone, right? So we'll not say up to thirty first of August. Normally, what happens? They will not take prior months actually. Fine. Right? They will not say June or July, and then they will not have a cutoff date. Cutoff date is a very important one. So up to the date only, it will be pushed into the costing area. Right? That they decide actually the cutoff date. That is because they have to create what uh, profit and loss statement as well as balance sheet. So they will have a cutoff date properly. So we can submit now. I'm only telling the process, but what to know? You will be learning only in the field actually. So four forty four. So by which what happens? This comes into the Interface area of receipt accounting. Now we have to again run the distribution. Actually, I have already run it improperly. Now I will again run the distribution. So once the transfer transfer cost to cost management is complete, now we will not run the receipt accounting. Fine, there is no success. It doesn't have any report at all. Fine, no matter. Now you go there and then we will not run the receipt accounting distribution. <clears throat> what is place? And then here, what is? I have done it again, but I had to again again do it because now only it has come now. So click on the create receipt accounting distribution. We are going to do it. So you go there. We will now pass on our parameter of what your BU. Now click on submit now. <clears throat> so it is not done. 
You got it, no point? There's no comment. So wait for the concurrent to complete, no point? So create distribution. This also will be a transfer cost as well as the uh, transfer, tra uh, create the receiving account taken distributions will all be fast actually. Transfer transactions from inventory to receiving to costing and then transfer to cost to costing as well as these, this concurrent, right? These are all somewhat fast actually. Whereas in the cost management, in the cost accounting, it will be taking a longer time actually. In the cost accounting, it will be taking a longer time. So you know, importing the transactions for interface tables, the AP uh, uh, accounted invoice is now brought into the receipt accounting. AP account invoice is now brought into this. Now, next step is what? We have to find out the differences between PO and AP accrual section. So in this place, our PO accrual is for 100, AP accrual is for 80 actually. So we have to first of all find out that the mismatch between the AP and then the PO accruals section. Accruals between AP and PO. PO says 100 is not the same. So it will now hit minus 100. So it will now be positive. For 80 will be able to come now by the same. So it is once when the concurrent is completed, 80 will be accounted. So we have to, what happens, find the mismatch between these two now. And this is a very big exercise as far as purchasing is concerned. Because purchasing managers will be even stopping the purchase orders based upon the accruals uh, which are there now. If the accruals are huge, we have got so much we have to pay for various suppliers and then no more purchase orders. Still, it gets come down to certain limits. Actually. So create a credit card and distribution process. Sir, no if there is no mismatch, then we don't have to proceed further. No, only if it is a mismatch. Ah, only there is a mismatch. Yeah, very correct. When there is no mismatch, everything is not paid, then payables department is not bothered at all. Because we don't have anything. Very correct. If everything is paid, then there will not be anything. In, no balances will be there in the accrual actually. Accrual will not have any balance. But many companies will be having plenty of balances in the accrual because of very many reasons actually. In this case, what happens, I'll say, the supplier has supplied 100 quantities. He has given an invoice also for 100 quantities. But the user department finds that there is a problem in the supply section. So they will immediately call the payables to at least hold 20%. So the payables man will now create, and then will now really only 80, 80 quantities and then create an invoice. The remaining 20 is now held actually for the user department to again give a payments. Even though the invoice is for 100 quantities by the supplier, he is now creating an invoice only for 80 quantities. Got it? So this is one example, but there are plenty of examples which are that where accrual gets generated, generated, and then will be going like anything. So it is PO specific, remember. Accruals are PO specific. Every PO will be having a balance accrual, actually. Every PO will be having a balance accrual. So it is not done off either. So let me go to home page and then come back to the receipt of money. So it's not done off either. So you go to the, go to the home page and then you go to the what's called supply chain execution and then go to the receipt of money. Oh God, and the monitor is <laughs> it's not gone. So on the info tile itself, it will not show you all these things. So it says what? Unmatched accrual balances are nothing actually. So first activity is what? After it has come, let us know first of all, log out and log in. Okay? That is the best thing, right? So whenever you do any major work, you log out. So here it will not show you the unmatched accrual balances basically. Click on confirm now. So let me close all of the things. So close it. Now we are logged out, logged in, and then we go there. We'll now sign in again. Now. now the AP data is also coming to the receipt accounting. Now we have to perform a match actually. So go there. I will now click on the home icon. <clears throat> I'm telling like a story actually. Fine, what you would understand is not. <laughs> so go to the supply chain execution and go to the receipt accounting. Talk to uh, Shankar. He will now give you a more idea now. Now unmatched accruals is nothing actually. So we have to perform a match between PO and AP, right? So AP has come as 80, and then the, P, the PO, uh, PO result is 100. 80 quantity is no match. So we have to perform what? Uh, yeah, unmatching now. So click on that icon here, and then here we go there. Match result accruals. We are going to run it now. We are going to match it. So we will now run the match accruals. So once we run it, in the header itself, what happens in the, in the info tile itself, it will be coming. <coughs> so click on it. So here you see the cost of receipts is now huge. <coughs> it will be coming. It will be building up like anything. <coughs> Click on the match receipt accruals. So the PO accrual to AP accrual is going to be matched actually. <coughs> 202 and then give it a tap. You know, coming. Go there. So that's it. So the from date and do it up to what and what you had to match it. Now, normally it will be a one month now. Right? You know, say first first of August to 31st of August or first of July to 31st of July. Likewise, they will not choose here. Now. I've seen these people doing it in uh, Saudi Arabia and all, but uh, I was not going near them at all. And so many things they will be doing. Click on something. So, no, no. 466 is the one that concurrent is running. 
So right click and then duplicate, and then we'll know how to look at the concurrent of 466 the concurrent is now ready. So go there. Go to the tools and have a look at the scheduled process 466 is the concurrent which is running actually. So go there. So match receipt accruals is now running. So once when it is completed, it will be reflecting on the main info tile itself now. So match receipt accruals sub process is now running. Are you all understanding it now? So go there. I will now go to home icon and then this post will be populated. Right? Click on now. I'll now go to the home icon. And then I'll now go to the supply chain execution and then I go to the Azit accounting. I'll now see in the info tile is now showing you this one. Yeah, we got it. So once when you perform a match, it will now show you the difference actually. <clears throat> so you can click on this and then have a look at it. Where exactly, how much of the difference is there? How much is not matched actually? I click on it. So click on the yellow icon and then you'll now see how much is not matched. It. And then it is a PO basis now. Fine. On every PO basis, it will be giving you now. the monitor process. Do you have any report on this now? Fine. With the report, we can very well see it actually. On a PO basis, it will now give you the report actually. So go to the audit report. So it will show you all the PO's basically on this place. Go there, go down. So ours is 2009. If you click on it, you can now see minus 20 is the only balance now. The accrual balance is only minus 20. Go there, then you can now show the balance. Previously, what happens? We have got only minus 100 over here now. Now, 80 has also come now. 80 has come because of a standard uh, invoice actually. Now, what they will do is let us say this supplier has not given a ba bad supplies. Okay, fine. This supplier has given a bad supplies. So, they would like to relieve this accrual. So, th this is a one on a PO basis. Every PO basis, how much is pending or matching actually? The matched invoice. So, now this is not 20. So, uh, management has decided that what happens, we will not entertain any more invoice at all. So, write it off. We have to write off this. Way. So, we have to perform a write off. Now. So, we will not choose this current fine because that's not it. So, we have to perform a write off actually. So, we now viewed via the info tiles actually. You viewed it via the info tiles. One. So, we don't have any action button on this one. Click on that one. When you're doing with the info tile, you don't have it. So, here you go there, click on it. We are now going to write off the accrual actually. Provided what happens, you don't feel that this particular PO will not be entertained. Any more money will not be entertained. So click on the adjust receipt accrual balances. So instead of info tiles, what happens? You go to adjust receipt accrual balances. Click on they going to adjust it. Adjust receipt accrual balances. I will now search on the what's called your number now. So it's what K02 and then give it a tap now. Starts with K02 and then I'm going to make a search on this one. Adjust receipt accrual balances. I'm going to make a search. So once when I search it, I will now see my purchase order number is there from that point. Now you will have an actions button there. When you're going via info tile, you will not have the action button. Now. When you're going via this, whatever will be having action. Button. And then if you go to the adjust accrual balances, how much you adjusted, it will not show you. If you go to the adjust button, right, go there, you will not say go to the start with till now. I have not adjusted anything at all. Okay, all right. And then make a search now, fine. Go on search now. And then we can even run one more concurrent now. Fine, go to the process. And then run one more concurrent. My receipt uh, accrual reconciliation. Recon. My accrual reconciliation. This will be run by the payables, uh, the, the procurement department heads, and then they will not see this number. Accrual reconciliation report will now go and run it. I don't know, this is a very big one in some companies now. And my students are again stuck on accrual clearing. So, so here he also put it. Otherwise, what happens? I will not run it. Number. I don't know how to put it. My students are really suffering actually here. Uh, accrual clearing is a big problem in some companies actually. So from item to item, I'm not putting anything. It will be running for all the items actually. So it's okay. I will now submit this accrual reconciliation report. Now, thank you, Consul. So 478 is the concurrent which is running now. We are going to see what the reconciliation of the accrual actually. It will now give you PO wise. And sometimes what happens, the people will be printing it on a daily basis and then give it to the management, procurement management. Basically. How much has accrued and then what exactly it is, they will be analyzing it with the end user departments. So accrual reconciliation report is now running. And then they will now take a decision about, we will now write off the 20. The 20 dollars against the purchase order, the supplies are bad or whatever will be the reason, they will now decide to write off. So accrual gets written off. And then accrual mismatch is a big one where what happens, they will be all be concentrating. 
with the mismatch is huge they have to what happens to take uh, decisions what to do next actually go to the accrual reconciliation report go down and then click on the republish of the output now so click on it go to export and then export as a pdf it's not running thank god for it it will not show you po wise reconciliation actually so accrual account is so and so 0.2220 thank god uh, and then it will not say how much is there now and the po number everything is not showing you it is a cost to do is item this is our item actually so uh, receipt into receiving inspection fine is 100 and then standard invoice is 80 fine the balance is not 20 actually so net accrual balance is minus 20 dollars that much of a money has to be what happens uh, has to be accounted for that's what i'm saying so go there and then it will not show you for each and everything fine others are not ours actually fine first one is ours so accrual reconciliation report they will not print and then they will not see the net balance with you so this much has to be accounted and then they will now discuss the nuc department sir do not create any invoice for this 20 fine then what happens the management will now write it off so we are going to write off this 20 so what you will do is now go there click on down now close it now fine so here they will now write off this one. you go to the adjust fine over so we have come via this navigation remember if you go via the info tiles the action will not be coming in the info tiles if you click on it the action is not coming maybe by some means you can also bring it i don't know uh, how to do it now fine is not coming So info tiles is only for information purposes. So you go there, you click on it, you will not perform the adjustment. What adjust receipt accrual balances I am going to do? It. So click on it. So I will not query on this now. Fine, brother. You are this thing will be queried. K zero two and I go tap. And then click on search now. Fine, we are going to search for it. <coughs> if you, if some companies you will not find. See, there will be thousands or hundreds of lines over here now. You have to analyze and then you only in the initial place you only have to report. Sir, this much is pending. This much is pending. What to do? What to do? And then you will be running it now. So you know, come find now the management is decided to what write off this twenty. This is called accrual write off now. So what they will do? Go to actions and then go to adjust balances. So in this place, if you go to adjust balances, you will not find anything at all. And this one. So you just start now find that one. So you know, K zero two and go there. So click on search now. You won't find any accrual at all available. No, no balance has been adjusted now. It's not coming. So you go there now for the two thousand nine. We are going to do it. Choose your purchase order number. Go to actions and then adjust the balances. They will adjust the balances. So adjustment date is now coming. Fine reason. Fine. <clears throat> you know, say supplies are bad. Or put the appropriate issue. Fine. That will be very important. So this much is going to be adjusted. Fine. Click on okay now. Now it will become zero now. Once when it is adjusted, it will now become zero for the 2009. It will be running a concurrent now. So uh, accrued is being processed for the selected transaction. Now no concurrent is running. It is not processed. If you go to the adjust, whatever you adjusted, it will not show. In this place, whatever you go there, starts with your search now. Fine, you can also see it is not showing already. So this has been adjusted actually. Fine. So accrual adjustment is twenty dollars. So minus twenty plus twenty, it has become zero actually. So if the taxes are coming, they will be coming. I want to count your taxes. Fine, go there. Notice total is the value. So item price is this much. Fine, it will not show you all the information. Whatever done in this place. So adjustment is wrong. But if you go via info tiles, it will not show you against two thousand nine. The two thousand nine entry itself will be removed now. it will have only entry for those which are having uh, plus or minus balances sometimes it will be plus also the 2009 will not be available at all oh god this is not available why is still available i think we have to do the accounting i think we have to perform the accounting the distribution i think we have to create it i forgot on the no point uh, because it's still available here now in this place let us know log on and log in and then see otherwise we have to create accounting now. fine whenever you perform anything we have to create the distributions again maybe Because I don't know, we'll not see here. Forgot on it actually. <clears throat> we'll we'll not create the distribution again. Otherwise, if it's not available, we'll not create the distribution and see this. Sir, is there any concurrent related to that clear approval? No, the adjustment there is not running any concurrent at all. We have seen, na? It is not running any concurrent at all there. I approval. think one is there clear approval balances. I am not sure. Is it so? Ah, okay. check Maybe. once. I am not sure about also. Okay. I just... Maybe, maybe there are not sure, but again, there is no. I wanted the financial team to be available here, no? <laughs> but nobody is here from finance basically. They do a lot on this now. Now you go to the supply chain execution, then go to the receipt accounting, and then we'll now look on the what's called your balances actually. If I click on the unmatched accrual balances here now, what is green and then I don't know. So 2009 is still there. So what I will do is I will now create the distribution. Now. We'll not see whether it vanishes out because this line will vanish. That is what I heard now, but I'm not very sure about it. The line will vanish once when there is a mid zero. 
in the uh, what's called in the unmatched one it will not be available for create receipt accounting distribution no create and see now so click on it so k02 then you have you may even have what's called what you're saying is uh, you're having uh, uh, your clear uh, as a yes a, yes a job also is available no problem so the is capital k02 oh what is it okay it's a capital k02 and then make a search now so we are creating in front click on it so we are now creating again distribution for this now click on submit now accounting distribution we are creating now click on submit so monitor the what's called right click and then go to the duplicate and then monitor it now so go to the tools and then go to the scheduled process so nishta is already working on this now fine so you would feel the pressure of this now fine accrual reconciliation is a big big topic actually the big big job is a laborious job remember fine it's not a easy job actually and so many pos so many accrual is not clear you have to clear the accruals ask them what to do what to do and then according to it create receipt accounting distributions so create accounting and distribution no sub process is running actually it, it is again the distribution differences might have gone only to the interface tables i think probably i am not sure about it you know see whether this brings in the 2009 has to be knocked off actually so it is not done nothing so it is all done now we'll go there i will now go there click on it i will now go to what adjust receipt accrual differences to balance the 2009 has to go away now start with and then give it k02 and then click on search now now see there is going on yes it is gone 2009 is gone now now we have to do a trade accounting Fine. Now 2009 is gone. So whatever is having a balance only will be reflecting over here. The balance is maybe plus or minus also. They give an explanation about why the plus is also coming now. Right? Normally, what happens if you are giving a minus hundred with a match AP, it will be plus hundred now. Right? They say that it will be plus or minus basically. Fine. Now, that I don't understand. They spoke to me, but I couldn't understand this now. Now what happens? You go there, click on create accounting. This accounting will be only for this adjustment now. Create accounting will be only for this adjustment. What have we done? Go there, drop it out. I will now go there. Click on it. You will now run what you are <coughs> receipt accounting. Ledgers capital K zero two. I am going to give it a tab now. Go there. Everything is there. I will now go into detail now. Click on it. I know that. So click on submit. Create accounting. This accounting will now reflect only the latest one which has been made actually. Latest distribution. It will not show you everything as such. So we are not doing it now. So that means what? Whenever you perform an adjustment, you have to perform distribution as well as create accounting for pushing it into GL actually. So the create accounting is basically an incremental process. So whatever has been newly done for that only the accounting will be created actually, not for the old one. Old one is already pushed into GL, and so this concurrence will be running on a periodic basis, and then whenever any change occurs, it will keep on pushing it into GL actually. So create accounting is not running. there so now we will now see the output of it now it is an incremental create accounting actually clear na my nishta yes sir jyoti how do you feel so how is cost management very tough na or very very tough <laughs> can you tell me it's tough it's tough okay fine he is saying that he has given only a qualification of the tough shankar how do you feel now ஜோனல் <laughs> 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 So now, whenever you do a credit accounting, it will give a report also. So, so that report. For expense item, you are also going to show. Yeah. So for expense item. No, no, expense is the lab expense for it. You do that. No, <laughs> I have not even created the value set for the expense. Remember, I have not even done it. So that you can uh, do it as a lab expense. In the same way, there is no difference at all between right now and here. Only thing is, when it is going to accrue, if it is going to accrue the period end, then what happens? It will not reflect now at all. It will not be transferred. 
say for example amc payment why right? every day they are giving a service but the company is now going to give you an invoice only at the month end so at that time you will not get an invoice and then push all these things into costing actually so that is why the expense items are normally accrued during period it is not having much of a importance to accrue this right? because they are not that much of a importance to the management only the asset items right? inventory items are very important so that is why they normally accrue the expenses at period end click on the pressure so now it will be giving you incremental accounting for this one <clears throat> the accounting will give you incremental accounting so go there go down and see so now you can see that this one has come acc accrual clearing has come now accrual clearing is the one go there so k0215 we have done the clearing account of 6929 we'll see if the account is coming or not okay it is not coming at all it has now hit the inspection account now so had i given the accrual clearing very correctly here what happens i have not done the clearing account of what 6929 something like that na 2929 so there is a mismatch since it is unable to find out a clearing account it has now pushed back everything to the receiving inspection account that is wrong that is wrong it has to go on and hit the clearing account because it is not after that it will be clearing the expenses actually i know that the entry but i don't know where to do it now so whatever has been written off it has now hit the inspection account and not the clearing accrual clearing account actually i don't know how to give it fine somebody uh, will now ask in the saturday where to give this accrual clearing account fine accrual clearing then it will be hitting it and then they will now make one more entry fine from accrual clearing to expenses so from accrual to accrual clearing and then accrual clearing to expenses or the actual entry and i don't know how that will hit actually but initially it will now hit the accrual clearing actually that i know so it is now wrongly clearing it actually fine the 20 dollars it has now come back to receiving inspection as though that what happens uh, we are uh, it is not at supplied like that Right. basically sir it should come to clearing accounting yeah. balances yes exactly but since i am unable to put the accrual clearing it has now gone back to this area receiving inspection area it is almost like a, what happens a return now right supply return it is almost like that so no other account is coming only this is only coming this is called incremental accounting so as and when the accounting entries gets created it will be keep on pushing it to gl actually so you please make an r&d about how to bring the accrual clearing over here now if i am setting it properly it will come right? it is not coming so it is now going back it is now working like it as what as a supplier return actually right? it is a supplier return actually 650 is no hit actually so this is the area which i am not aware of it go that click on it so it is not done so now you feel that the what's called the reversal which you made rather the uh, what happens the accrual write off is not correct so what you can do is you can even reverse it actually so whatever write off you have done is not correct what you go there you go there go there you go to this place adjust receipt accruals and then here whatever you have written off it will come in this adjust accrual balances if you go there it will not come in this place so go there and then query for this now fine start with it will not come over here k02 and then get app so click on search so before this what happens if you go to this place you can now see that 2009 is not appearing at all in this place if you go start with the main area k02 and then give it have and then make a search now it will not say that it is not there when 2009 is not there now what i can do is i can reverse it also i can very well reverse it so i feel that okay okay now we will locate an invoice so the procurement department may decide to reverse the accrual actually so click on the reverse at this point so we are now reversing it fine click on it they feel that they have now had a compress conversation with the supplier and then okay fine uh, end end user approved to pay whatever is the reason you have to find okay now the minus 20 will now come into the uh, open accrual balances actually this is not running any concurrent actually it is now simply reversing it so if you go to the open accrual balances whatever you go there then do it so 2009 will now come back. you go and make a search on this you know make a search on this now 2009 will be coming over here so go there so 2009 is not it come you know my just balances now Sir, it has to come over here now so case you go find click on search now <clears throat> there is nothing over here now okay so nothing over there and then here it has to come now why is not coming so 2008 it is there ah, 2009 is there it is there it is just like slightly above In the previous area we have seen that it is not it was not there na no? the 2009 was not there na no? <laughs> you know coming in the second line actually so there is a concept now 
see the accrual adjustments what they will do is they only see they will know export it to excel actually because from there only they can study actually they will know frequently export it to excel so where to go to actions and then export to excel so they will know study there will be hundreds of lines on this now right so they will know study on the excel sheet only excel sheet will not give you all this information now the file of frank click on s no bank so here they will not study everything the accrual adjustments are there now so they will not take a summation also and then they will not study all these things so this is the way they normally do what studying of the accruals actually and then they will not do the reconciliation the reconciliation they will not perform the adjustments and to perform it what am i say there is a rule available now that rule also is being used i couldn't exactly understand i know i will not test it actually i got the rule but i have not tested it we will not test it now no once again i'm taking milk do you want to have a break now or shall i continue i will not go for one more hour now <laughs> what do you feel we can okay. have a break sir okay we'll not break now okay <laughs> we will not break and then we'll not have a 15 minutes break i will also go for coffee because my throat is paining actually <laughs> so uh, what happens will not come back no 715 at 730 will not come and then i hope that it will not take one more hour for me to complete everything because cost recording we are to enter now right? we are still in the receipt recording okay so let me break for 15 minutes now <clears throat>